Thank you so much for joining me today for Yoga Storytime. My name is Colby and today I'm going to be your yoga adventure guide. So before we begin our practice, let's just make sure that we're wearing something nice and comfortable, something that's loose and stretchy like a t-shirt and sweatpants, nothing like jeans or anything that's going to be too tight and keep you from being able to do the poses. Also, make sure that you have plenty of space around you. We don't want to have any tables or chairs in the way that we're going to bump into when we're trying to do our poses. Also, if you have a yoga mat, that's awesome. You can use your yoga mat on the floor. Or if you're on the carpet, if you're wearing socks, that should be okay. Or you can use a towel underneath you, like a, a beach towel underneath you to make sure you're not slipping around. Just make sure if you're on a hard, slippery floor that you're not wearing socks or anything that's going to make you slip and slide when you're doing the poses. Also, if you have a grown-up nearby that can help you with the poses, that's great. Ask your grown-up to help you if you need help balancing or getting into the right alignment of the pose. And last but not least, if you have a stuffed animal or something squishy like a pillow that makes you feel really cozy and comfy, you can run and get that too because they're going to join us at the end of our practice. So, you might be wondering if you've never done yoga before, what is yoga? Well, yoga was created over 5,000 years ago in India. And it's something that the yogis would use to help calm their minds. It was all about being kind to yourself and being kind to others. They would use breathing exercises called pranayama and also things called asanas, which are the poses that we do. That's usually what we think of when we hear yoga is the poses like downward dog and tree pose. So we're going to incorporate a little bit of all of that today, the meditation, the pranayama, and the poses. So how about we get started? We're going to start with our warm-up song. So I'm going to sing it to you, and then we'll all do it together. So let's get ready. Reach up high, touch the sky. You're going to reach your arms way up overhead. Then reach down to your toes. You're going to bend forward and touch your toes. Then I'm going to say, sit on the mat, give a clap, and come to easy pose. All right, let's all do that together. I'm going to sing it again, and you can sing along if you'd like. Reach up high, touch the sky, then reach down to your toes. Sit on the mat, give a clap, and come to easy pose. Very good. All right, so we talked about meditation. So in meditation, we like to use the word OM. Have you heard of OM before? Well, OM is a word that's kind of like the sound of the universe. It's like the vibration of everything going on around you, like nature and everything like that. So let's get started by putting on our yoga goggles. So what I want you to do is little, make a little OK shape with both of your hands, little O's. Very good. We're going to put them over our eyes and make yoga goggles. I see you out there. Can you do that? Great job. All right, let's flip one around, one side up, one side down. Very good. Very stylish. All right, let's flip them. So you have the other side up, the other side down. Ooh, we're looking silly. Like, let's put both upside down. Ooh, very fashionable. Very nice. Okay, so let's keep our hands like that with that okay shape and we're going to rest them on our knees with our palms facing up or our palms facing down, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And we're going to just close our eyes and take a breath in and then just say, Om. Very good. Did you feel that vibration? It's kind of calming, isn't it? All right, let's try that again. Breathe in through your nose and then let out a soft Oh, very good. Hey, do you know the story of the Wizard of Oz? So at the end of the story, Dorothy says, there's no place like home. So let's imagine that we're Dorothy and we're going to click our heel heels together. We can keep our fingers in that okay shape. And we're going to close our eyes, breathe in, and say, there's no place like home. <laughs> that was kind of silly. Good job, everyone. All right, now that we warmed up with our own practice, I'm going to send you over to my dear friend Luna, who has a breathing exercise for us. Hi, yogi friends! Luna here. Today, I'd like to teach you about something called pranayama. Can you say that with me? Pranayama. Great job! So, pranayama is all about using our breath to calm ourselves down. You might be wondering why I'm wearing these silly wolf ears. Well, today, I'm going to teach you wolf breath. To do wolf breath, we're going to breathe in through our nose, take a nice, slow breath in, 
and then let it all out with a how. Very good. Let's try that one together. Breathe in through your nose, and then let out a long how ho, ho. All right, let's try it one more time. Breathe in through your nose, and then let out a how. Wow, you all sounded like wolves. Great job, everyone. All right, you can use wolf breath anytime you're feeling frustrated or mad or sad, and you just need to calm yourself down. Just remember to take a nice slow breath in through your nose and let out a long how. Great job. I hope you enjoyed that breathing exercise. Enjoy your yoga today. Bye bye. Hey, that makes me think of like wildlife in the mountains. How about we go on a wildlife mountain adventure? Does that sound fun? All right, let's get started. So since we're sitting on the floor, let's get into our canoe. So we're gonna get into our canoe pose. So sitting on the floor, with our bottoms on the floor, we're gonna tuck our hands underneath our knees and lift our legs up like we're sitting in a boat. And if you feel really strong, you can bring your hands out to the side. Very good. So let's imagine that we're on a lake heading towards the mountains that are in the distance. So we're in our canoe and let's start to row our boat. Very good. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Let's go in the other direction. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Uh-oh, we went backwards. We gotta go forwards again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. All right, we made it to the other side of the lake. So we can get out of our boat, and at the edge of the water, we see a beautiful heron. So we're going to get into heron pose. So let's come onto our knees. And we're going to let our feet come out to the sides of our bottoms. I'll let you see. See how my feet are on the sides of my bottom. And we're going to lift one leg up and hold on to our foot and stretch that leg up. This is heron pose. So we see the beautiful heron with their long legs. And they're looking into the water, looking for fish. Very good. Just breathe here and breathe out. Very good, you can release that leg, put it back to your side, and we're gonna to switch to the other side now. So, we're going to shift to the other side, and we're going to extend the opposite leg this time. Very good. Into our beautiful heron pose. If you've ever seen the heron, they have long necks. Maybe this is like the long neck of the heron. Very good, so let's take another breath. Breathe in, and breathe out. Beautiful herons, everybody. All right, we can bring that leg back down. And we have another look around. We see beautiful woods all around us. And there, up in the, in the high rocks, is a bobcat. So we're going to get into our bobcat pose, coming into our hands and knees, with our knees on the floor, our feet are on the floor, and our, our palms are pressing into the floor. And we're going to make kind of like a cat shape. You know how cats arch their backs when they're stretching? So we're gonna arch our backs and we'll say, wow, like a bobcat, very good. And there up ahead on the other side of the rocks is a moose. So we're gonna come into moose pose. We're going to arch our backs and look up. And we can say, moose, <laughs> very good. So let's go back and forth between the bobcat and the moose. So bobcat, meow, and moose. Moose. Very good. You can breathe in and then breathe out. Bobcat. Meow. Moose. Moose. Very good, everyone. All right. Now let's move on ahead. And we see up ahead that there's a gate. So we're going to open up the gate to get into the trail that's gonna take us up the mountains. So coming onto our knees, we're going to extend one leg out to the side. We're gonna rest our, our palm on that knee and then stretch to the side, opening up the gate. Here. Very good, let's breathe in. 
and breathe out. All right, we can release, come back to center, bring both knees to the ground, and we're gonna stretch the opposite leg this time. So stretch that leg out to the side. We're gonna place our palm on our knee and lift up and over to the side towards your pointed toes. Here, we're closing the gate behind us. Very good. Breathe in and out. You can feel a nice stretch on your side, right? <sighs> All right, let's come back to center. Bring your knee to the floor. And I see up high in the mountains in the distance, a wolf. All right, so let's get into our wolf pose. We're going to come into upward dog. So we're going to have our toes on the floor and we're going to lift up and look up and go, oh, and then lift back and come into downward wolf. Very good. So our feet are pressing back, our bums are high in the air. We're looking down at the floor and we could say, oh, very good wolves, everybody. So take a breath, breathe out. Let's do that again. So come back to your upward wolf, look up. And then press back to your downward wolf, pressing your feet into the floor. You can paddle them out if you want, stretching your legs, and we'll say, oh, oh, great job. <sighs> All right, let's stand up nice and tall, and we have a look around into the sky, and I see flying overhead a falcon. So we're going to come into our falcon pose. So spreading our feet out, Kind of wide. We're going to point one foot out to the wall and face the other foot forward. We're going to bend our knee and raise our arms up like wings. Very good. So we can imagine that we're flying falcons through the air. Very good. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Beautiful job. Let's switch to the other side. So we're going to straighten the bent knee and turn our foot forward. And we're going to point our other toes toward the wall and bend that knee, keeping your arms up, lifted up like wings, flying like a falcon. You can gaze over your fingertips. Very good. Soaring through the sky. All right. So let's bring our feet back together. We're going to stand up nice and tall and we're going to get into mountain pose. So our feet are directly underneath our hips and we can keep our hands down by our sides. Roll your shoulders back. Keep your chin up. Close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Standing up nice and tall and straight like a tall, powerful mountain. Very good. We're going to get ready to head up the trail and go through a hike through the mountain. So let's get started. Let's shake it out. And we're going to start marching and marching. I love to go wandering along the mountain track. And as I go, I love to sing my knapsack on my back. Valerie, Valera, Valerie. on my back. Great job marching. Let's keep going up the trail. I love to wander by the stream that dances in the sun. So joyously I love to sing. Come join and sing along. Valerie, Valera, Valerie, Valera, Valerie, Valera, my knapsack on my back. Overhead the eagles wing, they never rest at home. But just like me, they love to sing as o'er the world they roam. Valerie, Valera, Valerie, Valera, Valerie, Valera, my knapsack on my back. Very good. 
Phew, that was a long hike up the mountain. So let's have a look around. All around us, I see tall, tall trees. So we're going to get into our tree pose, standing up nice and straight. We're going to bring one leg out to the side. Bring your knee out to the side. We're going to bend it. <coughs> and you can either keep your ankle, keep your heel against your ankle, or you can lift it up to your calf if you feel pretty balanced. If you feel really, really balanced, you could bring it all the way up to your thigh. Then you could stretch your arms out to the side like branches. Very good. And, or you could bring them in front of you, in front of your chest. Place your hands together in front of your chest. Very good, nice tall trees. Great job. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't worry if you're wobbling a little bit because trees wobble, they do. Very good job. Alright, let's turn our knees forward and slide our foot down. We're going to do the opposite side this time. So bend that knee, place your heel against your ankle if you like it there, or you can bring it up to your calf, or all the way up to your thigh, wherever feels good to you. And we're going to, oopsie, even the yoga teacher can wobble and fall out of it. Very good. You can keep your knee up. Very good. And then stretch your branches out. You can lift your branches up. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Very good. And just breathe in. Breathe out. Awesome, beautiful trees, everybody. All right, bring that knee forward, slide your leg down, plant your feet back into the ground like roots, and we're going to get back into our mountain pose. Nice and strong. All right. You know what? I think we need a little bit of a rest. I see there's a bench over there, so let's have a seat in our bench. We're going to bend our knees and lift our arms up into bench pose. So kind of like we're sitting back in a chair with our arms up towards the sky. Very good. Feel the strength in your legs, your feet pressing into the floor. Very good. So we're having a seat on the park bench. Very good. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right. Stand up nice and tall. Did you see that? Flying overhead, I saw a bald eagle. Let's get into our bald eagle pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend our knees again like we were in our bench pose. And we're going to wrap one leg around in front and tuck our toes behind. And then we're going to twist our arms, one arm under the other, coming into our eagle pose. This one's very twisty and requires a lot of balance. So if you're feeling a little wobbly, you can find something in front of you, like something on the floor or on the wall, and focus on it. And that can help you balance. Great job. Let's have a breath here. Breath out. Very good. Let's unravel so we can undo your arms and undo your legs. Very good. Now we're going to switch to the opposite side. So bend your legs, switch the opposite leg around. Very good. We're going to switch our arms, twist ourselves up into our eagle pose. Very good. Feeling nice and strong. Remember, find something in front of you if you need help balancing. Or you can ask a grown-up to help you. Very good. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, we can unravel and shake it out. Feels good to shake it out after that twisty pose, right? Okay, you know what? We've been hiking all day long and it looks like the stars are starting to come out. Let's get into our star pose. So spread your feet out a little bit wider than your hips. And we're going to stretch our arms out to the side. We're going to look like a five-pointed star. You can see the starry sky behind me. You can imagine the stars in the sky. We're going to sing, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Did you hear that? I heard a hiss. Did you guys hear that? I think I heard a snake. Let's look down, everyone. We're going to bend down. Keep your legs straight. You can bend them a little bit. Reach out to your toes and look around. Do you see a snake? I see a snake. I think over there. Okay, let's get into our cobra pose, which is going to be our rattlesnake pose. So down on our bellies with our feet, the tops of our feet on the floor, and our palms are underneath our shoulders. We're going to press up 
and look up and we'll go like a snake. Very good. Breathe in through your nose and then let out a Very good snakes, everybody. You can kind of wiggle like a snake, maybe. Good job. Okay, I think the snake got scared and he went and hid and underneath a rock. So let's get into our rock pose. Come to sit on your knees. We're going to sit ourselves down onto our feet and our knees are on the floor and we're going to fold forward and bring our palms behind us. Bring the, the tops of our hands behind us and just relax forward and imagine that we're a rock that the snake is hiding underneath. So you can just rest your head down. You could spread your knees out a little bit wide so you can really fall towards the floor and just relax. Just breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Just relax for another moment. All right, let's roll up, come back to sit on our knees, and we have another look around us. I see a little baby bear, and the baby bear is playing on the ground. Let's come into our happy baby bear pose. So let's lie down on the ground like this, and we're going to bring our knees up, bring our feet up, and hold on to the bottoms of our feet. And we're just gonna rock, rock back and forth like we're a little baby bear playing. Yay! Rock side to side, you can feel it on your spine. It feels good, right? Little baby bear. Good job. Uh-oh. When you see a baby bear, there's usually a mama bear close by. Did you hear that? I think I heard big footsteps. Okay, let's come up onto our knees and look around. And there, just in the distance, is a mama bear. So coming onto our knees, we're going to lift our hands up like claws and lift up on our knees and we're going to let out a big roar while sticking on our tongues <sighs> like that. So let's come back and we're going to breathe in and then breathe out letting out a big roar. <sighs> Mama bear pose. Good. She's really fierce that she's protecting her baby. Let's do that one more time. So breathe in and then let out a big roar. <sighs> Uh-oh, we better run. She's protecting her baby, so we better get out of here. So let's run, 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 run. Through the mountains, down the trail, past the bobcat and the moose. Hi, bobcat and moose, past the wolf. Bye, falcon. All right, we come to the edge of the lake, and we get back into our boat. So let's sit back down, and we're going to get into our boat. Remember our boat pose, so our bottoms are on the floor. We lift our legs up. Lift our arms up and we're going to row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Very good. Whew. I think we're safe now. Let's have a rest. Lying down on the floor. And this is where we can grab our friends, our squishy, stuffy friends, or pillow, or whatever you have. And we're going to hold on to them. Relax your legs down to the floor on your backs. You can squeeze onto your pillow or your stuffed animal if you have them. If you don't have a stuffed animal or pillow or anything, you just lay your hands on the floor. Squeeze onto your stuffed animal and close your eyes. And let's just imagine ourselves floating peacefully in a canoe on the peaceful waters of a lake. We're just breathing in slowly, letting out the air through our mouth. Just completely relaxing. We feel the bottoms of our feet and the backs of our legs on the floor. We feel our upper back on the floor, the backs of our heads. Hmm. And we just imagine all of the animals that we saw today. We saw the heron and the bobcat and the moose, the wolf, the falcon, the eagle, snake and the bears. We had a really exciting adventure through the mountains. So let's just rest here for a couple more seconds. Breathing in and breathing out. Very good. All right, let's start to wiggle our toes. We can 
put our stuffed animals to the side. We can wiggle our fingers, kind of shake it out. And then we're going to roll onto our sides. Bend your knee. You can keep your eyes closed as we roll up onto our sides and press up to sitting. And we'll meet back in easy pose. So sitting in our crisscross applesauce easy pose position. Very good. All right, we had so much fun on our yoga mountain adventure today. I'm so glad you joined me. So let's all say goodbye with our goodbye song. Say goodbye and namaste. We had lots of fun today. Now it's time to say so long. Be kind, be brave, be strong. Be kind, be brave, be strong. Very good. Let's bring our hands together in front of our chest. We'll close our eyes and say namaste. Thanks again for joining me, everyone. I'll see you next time. Well, hi there, y'all. My name is Olive, and I'm an opossum. And I'm here with my friend, Bouncing Birdie. Bouncing Birdie. And today, we're going to do some creative yoga with y'all. Yeah. So today, we're doing some woodland yoga. That's where I live in the woods. So, Bouncing Birdie, do you think we could do a possum pose? What would a possum pose look mm, like? I think it would be like this. Oh, very good. Is that your tail? Yeah. All right, can you at home do a possum pose? You could either do birdie's pose or you could do your own opossum pose. Wow, great job. Okay, let's see what else we can do. How about squirrel pose? Oh. Oh, you're curled up into a ball. Very nice. And my foot is the tail. Your foot is the tail. Beautiful. How about you at home? Can you do squirrel pose? That's awesome. Great job, everybody. All right, how about beaver pose? Hmm, this is my beaver pose. Oh, that's great job. Uh, Are those little teeth? teeth? Yeah. Oh, you know, because... Beavers have those buck teeth and they like to chew up wood. Yeah. Can you flap your tail? Flap your tail like a beaver? Great job. Okay, now you at home, show us your beaver pose. Oh, I love it. Okay, how about a skunk? A stinky skunk. Can you be a stinky skunk? This is a stinky skunk. Oh, really good. Awesome job! Alright, how about you guys at home? Can you be a stinky skunk? Oh, very good! I love that one! Let's see, how about a woodpecker? Hmm. Oh, I like how you're doing your finger like you're pecking at the tree. Yeah. Very good! How about some wings? Mm, here's the wings. Oh, very good. Your arm is the wing. Very good. How about you at home? Can you be a woodpecker? Great job, everyone. All right, how about a toad? Bouncing Birdie, can you show us what a toad would look like? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're squatting down. Very good. You look just like a toad. Can you say ribbit or croak? Very good. How about you at home? Can you be toads? Great job, everyone. Hmm, let's see, how about an owl? Everyone loves owls, right? Oh, that's good. I see you have a beak. Yeah, that's a tail. Oh, and your tail? Very good. How about you at home? Can you be an owl? Oh, wow, I love it. So creative. All right, I got one last one. How about an ant? Can you be a little tiny ant? Oh, very good. What's that, Bumps and Birdie? Can um, you explain it to us? It's the bumps on their back. Oh, the bumps on their back. I get it. How about you at home? Can you be an ant? Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right, I think that just about wraps it up for our Woodland Creative Yoga. Mm -hmm. You did a great job showing us your poses, Bumps and Birdie. Yeah. And you at home did a great job, too. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, most of them were just on the floor. Yeah, a lot of them were on the floor, but you could be standing or anything you want. Yeah. Great job, everyone. We'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste.